What's up, people? It's your boy. I'm I'm back over here with a quick little market watch. Uh, we just got the we just I uh, just got my access to more of the results from the recent event. And there's there's, there's a couple cards that I, that I, I want to bring up. Got a couple tabs up here. Um, as the first card doesn't have any doesn't have anything to do with that, but there this is something that I've I've uh, I wanted to bring up for a while. I've been watching this card for a while, and uh. It started off pr pretty low. It started off probably like closer closer to a dollar oh, a while ago, like when it first came out. But it has been kind of going everywhere. It's been moving along, but it has been slowly, slowly moving up, coming kind of starting to come back down a little bit right here. But I do. This is probably, but this is kind of like the range where it's been at between the solid two to almost three dollar range. I I I wouldn't be I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh sometime in the future that there is just some random bump. I, I don't really. I haven't figured out anything yet. There, there is a couple. There, you know, there's a couple things that I would try with, especially because of the ability to search, uh, to search for a, a world legacy spot or trap. You know, there, there are a couple things that, that you could uh, do with. There, there are a couple things you could do with that. But yeah, you know, that's just something I like to, like to look out for. Things like this, especially because of the set that it comes from with the one printing. You never know. Could have five of these laying around. Could end up being, you know, five bucks each. Buy them for two. And for a dollar or two, it might, might, might work out. All right, guys, okay. All right, for the first card that I want to get into was Enemy Controller. Um, I didn't really expect this card. It was a card that was in the back of my mind because I I guess there wasn't anyone playing any kind of blind going second strategy, but there was a lot of people playing a lot of going second cards, kind of cards they use to easily break their up, opponent's board. And this card right here, in this form especially, serves a purpose of both. Like, you have the ability to both break a board, and you can play around hand traps. So, yeah, this this card this card right here was a very, very good meta call by the people that chose to play it over there. Uh, you got the Secret Rare. This is the one that, this is the version that I that I really like. I use this one. It's going for about four, five, about six bucks. Six bucks a copy with shipping. It's not bad. It's built pretty low for a while. I, I, I might have a couple extra of these that I might want to post up. But, yep, these just are shooting straight up, so... I, I I agree it's it's warranted. You got you got a lot of common versions that are very very easy to get. The ultra rare. Where's the ultra? Rare? Let's see. <coughs> yeah, yeah, you got the ultra rare right here. Damage, heavy play. Yeah, you probably have to go. Let's just go straight to the fifth one. See moderate. Yeah. Still in mod. Still heavy. Still down and see the moderately played can't even get to the regular I'm just gonna skip out so this is not yeah see like this like light played first deads you're still uh, looking at 40 30s yeah this is just this is wild this is this right here is pretty high this is even starting to soar but yeah but you got like light plays Light play, light play. Yeah, I guess light play around 40, but like I said, there's really no need to go for like these super high rarities, especially when you have a lot of common options. Yeah, when you yeah, when you got a lot of these common options, there's really no need. Especially if you really want something hollow for cheap, you get the gold rare. No one likes it, but it's an option. Right, another card that I guess I want to talk about was. Brageki. Seeing that there was a lot of people that were choosing to go with a more of a, I'm gonna break your board. Well, not I shouldn't say more, but there were a lot, a lot of successful decks going with I'm gonna break your board. This is this is a very this card's very interesting. It seems like there there is almost no copy that is under three dollars if you include the shipping. Yeah, I'm thinking. Let's see this so the super Aryan from the charmers. Yeah. At two, yeah, two for yeah, three forty about the yeah, so even so this is pretty much like a three dollar card no matter what version that you're trying to get even the recent one from the structure deck yeah the golds commons uh, I like the secret rares they don't look pretty bad um this, this is actually a pretty good option very 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 budget especially if you have a if you don't want to deal with you know like if you don't want to deal with the price point of having to play lightning storm because they're very expensive but at the same time. You don't get the extra benefit of being able to take out the back row, but you could run these at three. You could run, you know, you could run the cosmics and a feather duster to, you know, run more cards. But this card is very good at trade for negates, so I see a lot of value and a lot of value in this card right here. So, like I said, mum, 
there's a lot of different versions. Looks like you could. <coughs> oh man. It's like for the looks like for the most part you get them for about three dollars. Dark Hole. This is another card. This, this is nothing really crazy. I, I I don't I don't know exactly why I brought this up, but I just wanted to see where this was at. I guess I forgot to close it out. Um, looks like they're like I mean this is a super budget option. You can find these for twenty cents. You can probably get them from free from people. You probably have millions of these chilling. They come in a whole bunch of structure decks. But this right here would be the is, is another thing that. If you want to play like a budget going second deck, you could fill things up with like Rageki and Dark Hole and Dark Ruin or more, and those are those are really good cards for going second. So, I guess you know maybe the exploring the going second Yu-Gi-Oh strategy wouldn't be that bad, especially when you got cards like this running around. Lightning Storm. Speaking of speaking of Lightning Storm, uh, yeah, I I told I told a lot of people to to pick up this one when it was at about twenty five dollars when it came out of King's Court. It is currently uh, pretty much fifty. It's doubled in price. Uh, the, the, I picked them up at 35 when they first got released. I, I thought they were going to go any lower than 35. They started dipping down to 25, and I felt like maybe I made a mistake, but at the same time, I very much trust in this card. It's similar to Ash. You got, you know, it's one card that takes, that has, you know, takes care of multiple different problems. You know, it, it, do, it does have a bit of a drawback that you can't control face of cards, but it's not the, but it's not the hardest thing to play around, so, yeah, this... This card right here, I, I very much warranted the $50 price point for the Secret Rare. We're, we're not going to look at the Starlight. The Starlight's insane. Though. Like that's that's not what we're here for. We're mostly just trying to you know check out these you know these versions, the more available versions. We got 62, 63. Yeah, so about 63 dollars, 64, 63, 64 dollars for the you know for the original print. Uh, first, yeah, first card, first edition, first unlimited. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I 64 for unlimited. What about first though? If you just want a regular first, I didn't see that. There we go. Live play first. Still some unlimited, some bulk. And you got near mint first. So you're looking at 70 bucks for a near mint. But like I said, it's pretty high. If you really want to use this card, I suggest you just go with the with the ultra rare version. Yeah, just go with the ultra rare version. That was. Uh, uh, this event just may make more sense like there's there's a couple cards out there that if you're gonna spend and take your money on this one I mean, I mean I wish you would have yeah, I guess you're wishing you would have bought it earlier but I guess this card is worth this price point right now although there could be an, another another repent coming there are a couple sets you know up, up you know better up you know there are a couple sets that are coming out that could have a card like this in there but yeah except for the most part I don't I don't think we're gonna worry about that for a bit maybe maybe next year in the March but if you're planning to play uh, in, in the March reprint set, didn't finish my sentence. But if you're planning to play in some of the upcoming uh, competitive events, especially the, uh, especially one of the ones that will be here in California, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna want to have these. Dark Rule No More. This right here is a uh, uh, yeah. Pretty much every single copy you're looking at is gonna be three dollars. Four uh, four if you're gonna include the shipping. 320, 360, 369, 385. Yeah, so yeah, pretty much we're looking at a three to four dollar card and climbing. That is the minimum. If you go over to each one that came in the structure deck, it's like the yeah, it's the same thing. 350 with the dollar shipping. So if you're if you're planning on you know if you're planning on using this card, just know that it is a three dollar common. Or if you have extras, you want to offload them. I guess now is like one of the best times because I guess I, in my in my previous video. I did discuss that this card could be being put to one simply because Konami might, you know, Konami might want to pull a fast one and be like, we want you to use the cards you're going to reprint in the tins, like Forbidden Droplets, or they might want you to run Ultimate Slayer, and they might kind of purposely limit this card to one to kind of, you know, force you to bottleneck into those cards. That, that's, that's a possibility, just something you want to watch out for. Evenly matched, this is a card right here that I love evenly matched. This card was my best, has been been my best friend almost every side deck that i take to competitive events has evenly matched especially the ones that matter like ycs and regionals this card catches a lot of people off guard it, it's it's mostly it isn't even that they're not expecting it but there's just so much stuff in Yu-Gi-Oh, and it, it, it i guess it kind of comes down to do you want to stop you know monsters do you want to stop you know spells i guess a, a, a lot of people well, I kind of like set up their boards to where if they don't have the Omni Negate, 
they'll tailor it to, okay, well, I'm going to have a monster and a spell negate. Like, they very rarely just have the one-off trap negate. Like, there, there are a couple cards that, that, that can stop traps. There are cards that prevent targeting to stop cards that can permanent, so that kind of stops those traps, the more popular traps. But for the most part, people are trying to play around the monster effects and the spell cards. So, especially in the in the, in the the side deck, but even in, maybe in this upcoming meta that I think I'm going to go, I think I might take, I might, I might dabble a bit. I might try a, a little bit of playing going second Yu-Gi-Oh! But even in this current meta, like this right here, catch someone off guard to where they might have nothing or Splite could only have Toad. Or a Shiram player will think like, oh wow, you know what, if I get rid of my, my tier cards, it won't activate, but I need my Super Poly to break a board, so they, they'll make them put in a really bad spot, they might make a, they might make the wrong decision, so this card right here catch a lot of people off guard, I wouldn't be surprised if it uh, comes up in the in the next meta, especially in the side deck. Um, wow, wow, okay, not even going over the price of these cards, just talking about them over here. So the Secret Rare, let's see, I said how much I love it, I don't even talk about how much they're going for. So the secret rares, you got a mod play first, 32, unlimbs at 33, light plates at 40, only about four pages of these, near mint. So yeah, so I guess you got like 40 or 42 bucks for a first edition, and then we got 38 on a unlimited, yeah, 30, 32, 33. So yeah, so if it, if if, if like I said, if you just want a, if you just want a nice shine, you know, a nice super, uh, super, a nice secret copy, you get it for about thirty-three bucks. Probably want to get like a set of these. Let's see, you got the Ghost Beast, the newest one that just got reprinted just a while ago. This is actually starting to, starting to go up as a Korean. So twenty-four, twenty-four, twenty-five. Yeah, these are about twenty-five bucks. I think these dropped down to twelve dollars a copy, if I'm not mistaken. A really, a wow, uh, nah, I got them. I'm here trying to remember specific moments in time, but there was a time where this was at about twelve dollars because I remember because I had a set of them, and I, I was thinking to myself like, man, that's really low, but I, I still sold the person the set because I wanted to make the sale, and yeah, like I, I should have listened to my gut and should have just held on to it. They, they've now pretty much doubled in price from like the last time that I remember really caring about like caring about them like that. Haven't been able to. Get to a tournament in a while. Just been playing casually. Oh man. Okay. So yeah, here we got 27, 92, 24, 28, 29, 29. Yes, yeah, so we're this is going all over the place. Let's just call this one at 29. The ultra rare from Dual Power. So you got they got 29. Then you're looking at 25. The Mega Pack version. Taking forever over here. All right, thirty-two, thirty-two dollars. All right, around thirty-two dollar range. I like, like I said, if, if you don't, if you don't already have it, just go with the ultra rare. You know, twenty-five bucks. I'd I'd stick with that. Super poly. So here's another very good board breaking card for going second. We're 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 we're, we're, we're just like I said, we're not gonna pay attention to this right now. There might be a separate video talking about the crazy prices of some of these ultimate rares and that, but for right now. We're just going to stick with this version right here, the common. I, at, at this point, I do not think you, the sum will just be laying around. Like, if you find one of these laying around, back even back when they were at one, you, you just put it to the side because you, 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 you knew that it's either, it's, it's either really useful at one or at three, it, it's just busted. So, you probably had these put to the side. If not, we're looking at about seven... About six bucks for mods, six fifty seven seven dollars near mint first. About seven dollars, seven dollar common. Let's see, there should I think there's another. Yeah, the Shadal got another common version, about the same price. Yeah, seven, six fifty seven seventy. Yeah, eight dollar, eight dollar common. Yeah, so this 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 is a seven to eight dollar card right here. You know, you got the gold if you really don't care. If you're just like, I want it to shine, but I really do not want it. I really don't need it. I really don't need to care about it. I just want it to shine. You're looking at same price, eight, 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 eight bucks. See, this is this is the thing that I don't understand. Like, like I, I I understand you don't like you have a preference and maybe you really don't like you don't like gold, but at the same time, like when the gold rare is the same as the common, 
when you could literally come over here and buy the freaking gold rare for the same as the common. Just, just come get this. Just come get this version. Come get this version. And then the secret rare version. There's probably a lot of yeah, but that was gonna say. There's probably a whole bunch of mod plays and heavy plays that are just gonna bog this all down. I don't want to sift through all this. I don't really want to sift all sift through all this. But yeah, I I I think I, I found two of these when these went to three, and I got super excited. And then when I looked at them, you know, under the light, they came out looking just horrid. So there's a lot of uh, mod play of those out there. Yeah, the, I mean that's super probably got the super rare. Which, like I say, it's the same price. Look at that. Look at that. Same price. So, same price as the common. So, if you're looking to get a super poly, you might as well come and get the gold or the super. They're pretty much the same price as the commons. You know, come chew these out instead of getting yourself a common. Let's go on to the next one. All right. So, guys, we're gonna the next couple of um, next couple of cards are gonna go over them real quick. They're gonna be the super poly targets. This is the Gar Garura. I completely forgot this name in my other video. I just said the super poly target that starts with a G or something that came out of part of the elements. This is the card I was talking about. Two monsters with the same type and attribute, but different names. So this is uh, this is one of the cards that are used to help uh, go and to help uh, break boards. It is uh, it is a uh, it's um it's gone up a little bit. I mean, it was at it was at this price, this like twelve thirteen dollars when it was uh actually no it was probably almost closer to twenty dollars. When like in the you know like, like before the set got released, then went to twelve, when it when it first actually hit, and now it kind of went down to eight. I remember selling one for eight dollars about two weeks ago or week week could we go however long it's been, and now it looks like they're selling around ten to eleven. These ones right here. Oh no, let's see. Oh yeah, near mint ten, eleven thirty six, eleven thirty. So yeah, they're about eleven. 11 to 12 dollars they're gonna go to 12 probably after these ones are gone there she goes guys guy has 24 copies so should 1170 about 11 dollars that's about where this one's at mud dragon this is another uh, super poly target two months of the same attribute but different types so this one right here where it doesn't matter about the names it just you know you're just worried about the attribute and they did you know they're not the same type like I said, uh, it says three dollars right here. We got dollar fifty, about two fifty. If you have a couple of these laying around there, you know, two two dollars fifty cents, not bad. There is a rare version. Thought it was going for a dollar, but I think it's starting to come back down. Yeah, about seventy-seven cents. Yeah, about let's say about seventy-seven cents. Like if you're thirteen copies right here. If you're someone who just doesn't, like I said, if you don't care about anything shiny, you need to pick these up pretty good price so this right here if you're just taking care of dark monsters you go 64 cents is a common this is a common right no it's the rare this was the rare from a uh, legendary duelist yeah, about 64 65 cents for the super rare the fist of the gadget a dollar yeah. Not bad. You get the super for a dollar. There's the ultra alternate art. The dollar fifty. Same. Well, no, no, that's Korean. Dollar fifty. Yeah, dollar fifty. Two fifty with shipping. Not bad. You get the alternate art for a dollar fifty. Pretty cool. So, uh, per, I guess this is a uh, another potential target for super poly is the dragos the dragos stapelia, especially if you're playing against uh, tier elements. So it's a one fusion monster and one dark monster. So you know if you if you, you know I guess like if you have a sewer poly in the side deck and you want to play against you know tier element when they summon their you know you know like Kalos or something or they summon some type of fusion or Winda, you can activate this, use their Winda, and use one of your splite monsters, and then you know go into Dragon's Palia. Yeah, I, I'm it's just just something. If you, there, there's probably better options, but shows that there is more than just the one use for it. You can uh, you can use it to break to to break your opponent's board. Especially if you really want to get rid of the fusion monsters and you feel like you don't have other options besides super poly That's something you could use or if you're already running a planet plant deck for some reason and you could use the counters. There we go So and, uh, so here's another card not really I mean a super poly. This is number 65 to gym buster. I Forgot that this card had one printing. I feel dumb because before splite came out I've completed my number collection and you know I put it in a frame and everything and I, this is one of the cards that I had to get. I had to go to I had to go to 
Frankensons that I had to go around and pick up, you know, just, you know, there's a couple of numbers, there's about five, six numbers I still didn't have. And this was one of them. And I, I remember thinking to myself, huh, this would be pretty good in Splite. And did not buy another copy. It was like a, it was like under a dollar. Didn't buy another copy. I don't know what I was thinking. And now we're looking at 485, 495, five bucks a copy now. Yeah, five dollars a copy. I would yeah, light plate first dead for five bucks. Yeah, light plate first four thirty two. So I, I, after shipping, light plate first five dollars. Yeah, I, I feel I'm. I need to go buy another copy because I do not feel like taking down the one that I have in the in the frame and just leaving it blank for a while. So yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't buy a second one. But yeah, this only has a card one copy. It's five bucks. If you don't got it, like me, go get it. So uh, B cop from the underworld. Uh, I, I I checked this card like when I first saw like the tech being used and I saw that these were there's a couple that were up for. Maybe like a dollar or two for a bit, and I saw one that was going for uh, yeah. There's one that's going for a dollar twenty-five. I, th I thought they're gonna stay. I thought they're gonna start going up, but no. It looks like you know, a couple. Well, there's only one person, but slowly but surely these will start. It will start kind of going back down. Maybe settle at maybe settle at a dollar seventy cents. I thought it was I thought it was a pretty interesting interaction to be able to use this to protect your mystic mine, and it's and. Uh, yeah, it's just so dumb. Like usually you do have the one out in the main deck, so just running this right here just almost almost guarantees you're gonna gonna uh, almost guarantees you're gonna get off of freaking Mystic Mine. Yeah, like Mystic Mine is already a horrible toxic card that 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 just makes the game unfun, and this card just prolongs the unfun. Yeah, it gives you the gives, gives you the real beat down. Okay, so um, next card I want to talk about is Dark Gloomy Battle Chaos. Is the Dark Charmer. This is being used in Splite, just to, you know, to, like, take people's windows or in the mirror match. You could, like, uh, no, okay, I just said take people's windows. Like, I totally blanked. I'm not even sure if you could do that. I'm, like, windows just the first time that came to my mind. But you, you use it to take, you know, in, in the mirror match or even in the um, tier elements deck, you use it to take their, take their dark monsters. So you, it's, you're almost guaranteed to have something that you could summon off it. It, you know, isn't bad. It's about, you know, about $2, about solid Solid two dollars super right now. Nightmare Phoenix. Here's another card that I wasn't sure if it was trending up, but yeah, it, it looks like it's still at four. I think last time I checked, these were at three. They kind of they are they are starting to trend. They are starting to trend down, but I I. I I remember when you were able to get these ultras for like a dollar. No one really cared about them, and now you. This is like I guess this is your other out to Mystic Mind. If you're somehow able to get them into like a, a like you know where both of you have like one you know where he has one monster and you could link down into this and pop it off. That's that's something that you, you could do. This is probably like one of the better enough monsters to summon to get rid of that unnecessary back row. So yeah, about four dollars for the ultra. Super, a dollar. Yeah, super's going for a dollar. And then you got the budget option. Forty-five. Yeah, forty-five cents. This this was like I think it was a good idea to print these rare, and make them very very easy to get. I I, I like I I don't want Konami to to devalue the cards. Like I don't want Konami to put like one copy of every card in every box or do like other card games to where like there's like there's like a starlight in every box and you know kind of stuff like that and give you know like the chase i don't want them doing anything like that but i would appreciate if they would do more things like this to where you had where you have these good cards and they're more readily available at the time they're good though i wish they would do something like this for really good cards but at the like you know when they come out so you know like let's say you have forbidden droplets it comes out and then like later on you know maybe you you know you give like another like reprint and then like in that same window of it being very relevant we have multiple different versions and you don't have to do it for every single card just you know i mean pick and choose certain cards like just make a couple of them a little more a little more available a little bit easier you know like you don't have to do this for lightning storm and dark moon no more and nibiru and all these cards when they first come out that you know i, I 
would have been cool for everyone to be able to have you know it just access to like you know just certain cards i don't I'm, i don't I, like there's there's a lot of cards that you could apply that to and it would work and then some cards that wouldn't work but i i, I don't know I don't, I don't i don't think it'd be bad so uh Yu Gi Oh! Oh, Yu Gi Oh! I'm over here reading the wrong thing. This, talking about the Zeus package, these are just a couple of just simple stuff to climb up into Zeus. Nothing really too crazy. You get the one from Ghost from the Past, two, one coming out about a dollar, 75 cents, 80 cents, even cheaper. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, like like I said, like, like, like if, if you want to get high rarity, you can. This was not available not bad. Light play, two twenty five, two twenty five, that three dollars for a light play. And then, you know, like if you really eh, there's no even need to really go for that one. Well let's go into due diligence to kinda of look into it. So heavily played mod play on the mods, near mints, near mints twelve, about thirteen bucks. Like I said, you, you get the this we were printed the same way three times. I don't think I'm at this point. Downard. Yeah, the secret rares. If you want to get all blingy, secret rares going for about six dollars. Checked them earlier. Here we go. Yeah, about six bucks. Six, seven thirty was shipping. Yeah, so about you know, six six dollar card for the high rarity. And then you got the ultra rare right here. Forty. Yeah, forty eight cents, fifty cents. And like the ultras from the Brother Legend don't really don't look that bad. They don't look half bad. Now time for Zeus himself. Uh, Zeus started to go up. I think uh, it, it was there before Splite. People did have it, and it was an option that people thought about. But it, it has started to like kind of climb up. It is you see the big old gap. But like I said, there's a point where Zeus's were going for like almost ten dollars, and we're now looking at them being a solid sixteen dollars for the for the reprint for the Mega Pack one. Check the Seeker Rare, twenty three. 22 yeah 23 bucks that actually is, isn't really bad you're looking at about a difference of seven dollars for the for a light play which isn't really bad I'd probably get I'd probably rather have the secret rare at that point first shattering event okay so this is a card that I want to make a little quick little uh, discussion video if I am able to make a quick video I'd say it's gonna be quick ends up being freaking super long so this this is a card that I want, that I'm I'm do another discussion about. I think this would be a very very good tech against the meta. It ba basically it says if a card is sent from the deck to the graveyard, uh, you can target one card in either player's graveyard. Cost shuffle it into the deck. Also, neither player can send cards from the deck to the graveyard for the rest of this turn. So essentially, what it does is it just tells tier element players they are no longer allowed to properly play their deck. This would take care of a lot of annoying stuff, especially with the dangers, the danger variant. This would kill the danger variant. It would be able to kind of go off. I'll go into all that in a different video, but I, I do see it kind of trending up. We got a 285, 298. So they're looking to be about $3. There's almost four. So, and you know, a lot of people, they only have, this guy has 24 of them, but they're Italian. So you got... One 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 of English three three three. They slowly start to creep up to four dollars. These right here just have been soaring. They they were they were fifty cents even lower. My 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 friend told me about these two years ago, saying they're going to be good. And I read it and said, okay, yeah, there's a potential. And here it is. Here is a potential. I think tier elements could be the deck that makes this uh, card. Skyrocket has one printing from World Superstar Prismatic Secret Rare. This thing is. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't be the easiest to get. It's because I, I I don't I don't think you just walk into most card shops and just say let me get a box of World Superstar. So yeah, this card could be going up. I wouldn't be surprised if it if it hits like I mean between five to ten dollars in the next in the next couple of weeks depending on the meta and how Chalmers does. Even with the Shizu coming, you never know. So keep an eye out for Earth Shattering Event. Dimensional Fissure kind of on, on the same vein. This is another thing that kind of just tells Shadow Mint just no, you're not allowed to play your deck correctly. Uh, it, like I said, kills all the dangers. Gonna kill, gonna kill everything that needs to be in the graveyard, and it kills the, and it kills their ability to come back because it isn't like it isn't like other cards like um like um, forbidden graveyard to where you just negate effects in the graveyard or like soul drain or something like to where like just effects in the graveyard are, are negated or for banished effects whatever. This is just saying hey you know they're gone. 
they are no longer in the game. So even if later they are, they're able to like somehow top deck something to try to come back, they don't have nothing in the graveyard to you know to help them. So this card you know this card works for that. Same for Macrocosmos. Uh, pretty much I, I I went over this in a different video that I want to make. I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I put it up, but yeah, pretty much every version of this is a two dollars mod play. A lot of them are going to be mod heavies. That's where we're going to find a lot of them. A lot of them are going to be heavy played. But you know, like light played, near mint first, near mint first, damage near mint first. So we're looking pretty much at like two dollars. I'm not going to go here and start like going crazy. I'm looking for about like a two dollar card. Same, they're going to be similar over here. The commons are all going to be about, I don't think I went over the price at all. The commons, same thing, 114 with the one dollar shipping. Damage, light play, light play unlimited, damage first, light play first, 175. So, yeah, we're looking about a two to this is, you know, like if you're just buying it by itself, it's almost a three dollar card with the shipping. But if you're able to find, you know, if you're to find someone who has dead, uh, dynamic shipping about 175, two dollar common if you have these laying around, because you know, pretty good trade value for them. They do have higher rarity versions, yeah, there is a secret. I do like how the secret looks, I've always liked how the secret looks. I used, I used to use this a lot, especially when hand traps started to get very, very, very popular. Before I got limited to one, this was like, like my, it's like my anti hand trap measure because a lot of the hand traps needed to go to the graveyard. So this right here just took care of all that and took care of a lot of meta strategies. I loved main decking this card back before I had enough money to just buy all the meta. So with this card being at one, it does suck because it does leave, it does kind of force you to play certain, it kind of force you to play forces you to kind of play in like into those strategies like it like it, it, it doesn't let you stop it doesn't let you stop things from happening it, I, I don't know I think, I think very much Yu-Gi-Oh they want you to like they're trying to get rid of the whole they don't want you to play solitaire but they also I, I, I don't even know what I'm well exactly what I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say like I have this idea that I'm trying to like describe like describe in my head but what I've just figured is they don't want you to be able to prevent things from happening to you they want you to either play into it or let it happen to you it's very it's a very, very weird thing that I'm, to, that I'm trying to like that i'm trying to explain but yeah that, that, that's like one that's like this is one of the first cards i got rid of that made me start to think that konami doesn't want you to prevent they want you to play through and i do kind of agree with that because if you just play a bunch of prevent cards that prevent then it's floodgates and your opponent can't play and it's just toxic but then the other side of that spectrum is you play meta decks with 15 hand traps and they're like it, it just comes down to who drew a better mix of a starter card and hand traps who drew four hand traps versus three who who drew two hand traps and a, and a you know and the one of called by or who you know like who's running the the card to counter it's yeah like it it, it 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 it's more it, it it is more interaction but also it does it, it it does make it to where you can't just run more budget up you know like more budget decks and option that will just like benefit from being able to play this card and stunt your opponent ran over sorry about that yeah macrocosmos already talked about that all right and the last card i want to talk about is dual no oh, i'm gonna call this freaking dual devastator man different dimension ground so different dimension ground is another card that I really like to play. This card, this turn, any monster sent to the graveyard is banished instead. Very simple. It's a macrocosmos on the turn that is activated. This card right here, if you need, if you're playing your elements or any kind of deck that needs their graveyard, you want this card. All right, especially in this meta right now. I think you, let's, let's, I think you should watch out. They're 67 cents. They're not really too expensive, but I wouldn't be surprised if this card kind of starts picking up steam, especially. It's especially if we're gonna play more board breaking cards and dark mode no more is, is, is gonna be in the format and there's gonna be and it, there's gonna be like more opportunity to play into that next turn you know especially if you know people are not just you know going for the kill right away they'll they'll, they'll kind of like let it go to turn three this right here could really stun your opponent to where you could set this you could do your combo set this and then flip this and stun them for that one turn and then when it comes back to you you could continue playing on and that might be just that might be more than enough 
to get you over in the either the tier element mirror match or even if you're playing spite against mirror if you want to keep it or if you're playing some type of like salad deck to where you you really need your your, your graveyard but you need to get rid of theirs this is the perfect card you got one you got this uh, ultra rare from uh, dude very very cheap uh, 25 cents yeah quarter I, I know these don't always come out in the best shape but you know hey for 75 cents for a set of this card I that's not bad Alright guys, I know this video has been a little long. Thank you very much for uh, stopping by and taking a listen. There will be more videos to come. Peace out, and I'll see you next time.